This is the newest edition of the collection. It's a 1123, which I already had, but the difference is now it's in a new cabinet along with a uh, CDC open reel transport. Uh, the open reel deck's on the top, then just below it is the 1123 in an expansion chassis, and below that is an RL disc pack. The RL disc packs on slide rails, so it could be slid in and out to facilitate disc changing. And the CDC open reel transport looks like that. Now let's pan the camera back up. This is a close-up of the uh, slide racks or the rack rails for an RL drive. These are the actual deck rack rails that are supposed to be used with the drive, which are made out of aluminum and steel. And what I'll do is pull the drive out. And that's how the side of the drive looks with it extended. The drive locks in a position that gives you enough space to open up the uh, top of the RL drive and change disc packs, but not pull the drive out any further than necessary. There's two locks on the side of the slide rail that when you push them will allow you to extend the drive out further for maintenance or replacement. Behind the system is the AC power controller, the back of the RL drive, the back of the 1123 and the expansion chassis. And if you follow it all the way up, we can see the back of the CDC tape drive. The CDC tape drive is connected to a Emulex controller by two 50 pin cables. The CDC drive can be opened for putting tapes on it. And then also by turning the lock screw, the entire drive will swing open to allow access for maintenance of the uh, motors and parts of the drive. We'll go ahead and apply power to the system. Turn on the drive. Once the disc pack comes up to speed, the ready light will come on. There it is. We'll come over to the console. And uh, I do have a, a bootstrap terminator in this system, so if I just enter yes, it would automatically load from the DL, which is our L drive. But just for fun, I'm going to tell it to load from DL0. and it will load the RT11 operating system. In this case, it's uh, RT11 uh, 5.03. A quick view of what it looks like when the uh, RL pack is being read. You'll see the uh, ready light flash to indicate that the drive's working. And this is what it looks like when you load the tape drive. We'll open the drive. Take the tape. Remove the tape. That'll do a round of the tape up reel.
lock the hub. Close the door. And then push the load button. The alias for this drive is MS0. So we'll do DIR MS0. Mount the tape. What we'll do is take the tape drive offline and hit the unload button. And then we can open up the door, push the center button, unlock the hub. Remove the tape. And put it back in its protective cover. This is the system again, only now it has the uh, side panels and doors attached. Makes it look a little more finished. And the one thing I did not show before was removing the RL drive. So what I'm going to do before I shut the system down is come over hit the load button that will park the heads on the drive When the load button lights up, then I'll be able to remove the drive. There it is. So I'll slide the drive out of the rack. Open up the door. Remove the cover. Remove the disc pack. And put the cover on it. Final shot of the two systems next to each other, the 1123 with its CDC half-inch tape drive and RL disc pack, which is a Q-Bus system, and next to that, the 1134 with its dual RL packs that is a Unibus system.